under the sea, it's a sound oriented life. Underwater, light only travels so far, even in the clearest water, it's a handful of meters. The way that we project ourselves onto nature is problematic. Putting in pulses to find oil under the sea, there's cause and consequence to all of the actions that you take with sound. I feel the space that whales occupy in our culture is wrong. We imagine them in a human-like way. This uncanny voice from this kind of ancient world is a manufactured idea to a voice that's been sampled and recorded and captured and distributed and edited. I am looking at what role machine learning or some sort of artificial intelligence has to do in the creation and the, and the performance of the piece. Sound art can be very elitist. I think it can be very inaccessible. And actually, it doesn't really have to be. So I've got a hydrophone, which is an underwater microphone, which I stick in a bowl of water and sing into it. I create these analog visuals using an overhead projector to create this fluid feeling of the space. I think it can feel a bit magical. There are really good possibilities as part of the Winter Residency Program. They've got this amazing culture of being interruptible here, which means that you can kind of just go up to people and people can come up to you and talk to each other about your project. The act of listening isn't a passive thing. Listening is active. I'm Javier Velastin. I'm a sound artist and I'm working on a human-computer duet about the noise in the oceans. <laughs>